these eight wills, these disturbers of serenity. Miserable, wretched, their purgation would be simple. Wills, emotions, purgation is the ruler with a will. It shall be done. Unto the wretched vessel, its will and its emotion shall be revealed to purgation. It's some sort of town. Is this another world? It doesn't look so different from the kingdom of Alistair. No. That sound is... There are canals running through the middle. I don't see any end to them. How far could they go on? I've never heard of any land with this much water. It's probably safe to assume that I've come to another world. But if that's the case... Then where is everyone else? I don't see a trace of them. <gasps> what is that thing? It almost looks like it's alive! Yeah! <sighs> it's attacking! Alright then. I'm considering you hostile! Brace yourself! Did it just melt? It's as if my blade was cutting through water. It didn't even seem alive. All the same, it looks like I defeated it. Another one! I must have let my guard down! I was careless to let them surround me like this. But now, I'll do what I have to. You're done for! <sighs> I practiced so much, attempting to convince the princess that this blade was meant to protect rather than kill. But in the end, the blood I've shed and this bloody ardor time these things I feel so heavy it's like I'm dragging lead <laughs> if this goes on I'll be <laughs> you are amateur your craft's sharp enough, but your heart is dull. Who are you? There's no way for me to know unless you talk. Now answer! Get back! <sighs> Run! Turn that corner and you'll be on the main road! Your help isn't needed! Who are you? I don't know where you're supposed to be from, but you don't know the first thing about this land. And what of it? Even if I don't know this land, I'm fully capable of cutting down any foes. Don't let your guard down. You're not getting a third chance. Uh, there's something I don't like about the way he talks, but what could it be? You still have a future, Erica! Get out now and survive! What is this that I'm feeling? Traveler, I don't know what brought you here, but let me tell you something. This is Isunia, home of shimmering dew and guilds. 
the land where the sun and the moon have taken each other's place. The sun and the moon? First you fight. That's nothing that I need you to tell me. I'll keep fighting until I see the princess again. as if he's been fighting to protect me. Did we take care of them? Hmm. You hurt any? Not at all. I see there was no need for me to worry about you. It was all over in the blink of an eye. What's your name? Leo Black. Why did you protect me? Why indeed. So who are you? Huh? Why'd you want to talk to me? That's because... Damn it! All this blood on our hands for the nobility, for what? They're treating us like the rebels! You still have a future, Erica! Get out now and survive! It might be that you're like someone I used to know. I can't say exactly what, but there's a resemblance. Do you have anywhere to go? No. Follow along. Uh, I don't know if he's worthy of trust, but this has to be better than walking around aimlessly. Princess, I trust that this is the first step back to you. So please, please. He's got his back to me, but I can't spot a single opening. Even at point blank, he's almost too stealthy to notice. Liad Black. I could tell that you were skilled, but not that you were a master of the craft. Let me ask you something. What is it? Where'd you learn that art? I am an attendant to the princess and her defender. My blade exists for her. That's not what I'm talking about. Eh, uh, uh, sorry. No, my past is nothing worth telling about. Again? How many of these are there? They're failed magical experiments. There aren't as many as you might think. Failures? These things? Awful creatures. They were made by the Magis Covenant, one of the so-called Four Guilds and one that rule Isunia. Made them? These were made by humans? Humans who think they're gods. It's beyond me. And me as well. Don't let it get the better of you. No problem. I'll take care of this. Excellent work! This swordsman's art is a mark. Once it's branded on you, there's no removing it. Uh. Halt! Here? I don't see anything. Brood crying devils! The nameless group enters! The wall! It's moving! Enter. Huh? A place like this? On the other side of the wall? That damp, heavy stench. It's exactly like back when... A guest? Hmm. Take your leave. Okay. Bring back any memories? Why would you think that? Were you able to gather that much from the art I use? From your art, yes. But more than anything else, 
Your eyes. <gasps> eyes that curse the past. Eyes awash in darkness. This isn't... It's not what I wanted to be. I'm not... None choose to be fallen. We're no exception either. <sighs> I don't want to die. I want to live. What was I born to do? If this is what it takes to stay alive, then... At last, I think I understand the parallels between you and my old acquaintances. This has been strange for me as well, and I finally understand why I saved you. I know this place. It's the place nearest to the dark, a lair for those who reject the light. Liad Black. No, Liad. Please, tell me about yourselves. We are Counter Solari. We shall turn the canals to rivers of blood. We shall dash the false sun to the earth. And upon the land we shall release the winds of war. You're trying to spark a war, but why? Why do you appear in this land? Uh, he said appear, not visit. I wonder if he's also... It's all to rescue the person who matters to me the most, and to let her know of my misdeeds. There's someone that I have to track down, an enemy that I have to defeat. I was pursuing her when I stepped from my world into this one. I know that it sounds incredible, but it's true. There's not a person in this world that doesn't know about this land and the guilds that rule it. You must have fallen from the sky to be that ignorant, and yet you've swordsman's arts that not even we know. <sighs> if I were to say more, we know of others like you. Strange folks from another world. Your story's worth trusting. Thank you. Erica, we and you're the same. We both have enemies that need to be defeated. Who could they be? The Order of Blade Rites. From earlier. They're one of the guilds that rules Asumia. They claim to act in the name of justice, and the people are on their side. But they're liars, and they've been so for a long time. They were once none called Countess Solari. They were only the Blade Rites. And that guild was originally split into two. The Sun Corps, who assisted the people publicly, and the Moon Corps, who protected the people covertly. The sun shone on the people fairly and honestly. Its splendor was perfect for leading the people. But there are forms of evil that can't be defeated with light alone. Yes, ones that court the light but hide in the dark for private gain. Ones like those my comrades and I slaughtered. Hmm. To bring the craftier forms of evil to justice, there had to be a moon shining in the night. Sun and moon, front and back. Two as one. That is the order of blade rites. It was until that day, Kim. Damn it! All this blood on our hands for the nobility, for what? They're treating us like the rebels! Was it betrayal? When a necessary evil is no longer necessary, then it's simple evil. The sun betrayed the moon, and the moon was dyed in blood. Ah. <sighs> But there were those who ran from the slaughter. Those who drank mud and ate the flesh of their compatriots. We are history's living darkness. So until the hour is ripe, we will debase ourselves to counter the solar light. Someday though, someday we will get our revenge. We will fell the false sun and bring a new glory to the true moon. This vow has passed down for generation after generation. 
It's woven into the fabric of our being. We therefore use the true blade, and it serves as proof of who we are. What do you mean? The veiled sword handed down as generations waxed and waned. This very blade proves that we were the Order of Bladerites. They likely believe it was lost, but our forebears protected the truth with their lives. When we break the imitation and raise this sword, Countess Solari shall see the dawn. You and your associates are trying to recover the true course of history. Do you believe in the words of Countess Solari? I understand them. I was betrayed too. I became an orphan when I lost both parents in a war. There were only two paths before me. Allow myself to be tainted, or die. I didn't want to die. That's all I knew. And so I became an assassin just as the Crown ordered me to. To earn my pittance, I continued to kill. It was horrifying work. I was only able to bear it because it was for the Crown. And because of my comrades. But even then... That's enough. I understand all too well. I said that I'd rid myself of it when the princess took me in. But it's been branded on me. It can't be removed, no matter how much I might despise it. In the end, it's all that I have to rely on. Sad though it may be, I lean on that technique to destroy my enemies and keep moving ahead. And I say that's fine. <sighs> it hurts, doesn't it? Yes. It has been long since anyone without a blade has touched me. Lehad. He's so cold. It's almost like he's dead. I shouldn't have brought up the past. Sorry. It's fine. Would you help us? <sighs> if, that is, you believe in our mission as Counter Solari. I want you to use your despicable art and fell the false sun together with me. You, my otherworldly compatriot. It's nothing that I'm demanding. You've still got a future. And so do you. I lost track of that long ago. As these hands grew more blood-stained. <sighs> Doesn't matter how you dress things up. Count to Solari or the darkness. And last night we killed another of the people. His eyes are so cold and steely. But I understand. That's not murder, though. You were doing your duty as Mooncore, killing the evil at work in the darkness. <sighs> Liad, I don't know whether I can lend my assistance to Counter Solari. I have my own purpose, and that is to save the princess. I can't reject them outright, though. I see my own past here in Counter Solari. Could you allow me to think for a bit? Those words are enough. Where are we going? This isn't our only lair. They have a way of sniffing us out when we stay in one place for too long. We can never stay still for more than a moment. Would you come along? All right. Thank you. This way. Uh... Liad. May I ask you something? I've seen that you wield the true blade. Still, even if you wield it, will the people understand its meaning? I'm not so sure, but even so. It's her! Uh, Erica! That voice. You got here safely, Orisa. Erica! Oh good, it's you! She's sharp. 
For all we did to conceal ourselves, she was able to see through it and follow after us. So you're here in this world, too. Ah, uh, yeah. I got split up from everyone else. I thought I was alone. Is that right? You should come with me, Erica. I met a bunch of really nice people called the Order of Blade Rites. <sighs> um, so who is that person, Erica? That's none of your concern. <sighs> Tell me who you are! There's a name people call me, but I don't use it myself. Get back from Erica, or else I'll... Arisa, please stop. Er... Erica? I won't allow you to turn your bow against this man. But... but he has such a scary look in his eyes. Scary? You don't have any idea why he looks like that. Uh. Ah! If what I say won't get through to you, then maybe this will! Now stay out of my way! <sighs> that didn't come from Arisa. Then it must have been someone else. No. I've seen that spell before. It's the same as that man's. What... What just happened? That's enough. You two are partners. Don't hurt her much. Or you'll hurt yourself. <sighs> Erica? Partners? Well, we were fighting for the same purpose. But still. Arisa, I have my own path to walk. Wait, Erica! Please don't approach me again. You sure? Yes. We've only ever fought together once. Is that so? Crying devils emerge, the nameless group enters. Coming in? <sighs> that didn't come from Arisa. Then it must have been someone else. There's something I need to know. About the person back there. So you noticed him too? I have an idea who he is, and he would be dangerous to have as an enemy. I want to know why he's interfering. Before I enter, that man must be... All right. Watch yourself out there. Hmm. <laughs> it's been long since I've been with my compatriots. Or rather, anyone like them. I feel so much coming back. That man, he's nearby. I can feel his presence. I'll track him down. <sighs> Defeating Nexus and saving the princess. I thought that's all there was. But now there's Counter Solari. They're my past, the past that I once disowned. I ran away from it. As my comrades wailed and gnashed their teeth, I turned my back to them. I only pretended to have forgotten them. But I always remembered. I remembered everyone. Once I save up, I'm gonna open myself a restaurant. Put these slicing skills to work. Hey, that doesn't sound bad. How about you be the waitress, Erica? You got a nice face, if nothing else. <laughs> hey, hey, put this sword away. It's just a joke. I'm up already. I was at the very bottom then. But at the same time, they were the only... <sighs> Someone's coming. Could be here. Why are you pursuing Counter Solari? Very astute. Answer me. 
What does Counter Solari mean to you? I need to know something. To get revenge. What about you, then? Why are you with Counter Solari? I'm grateful to you. Grateful to you for giving me the power to rescue the princess. But I don't have any intention of answering that question. It's a personal matter. Orisa's worried about you, too. At least as far as I can tell. Huh? That doesn't matter. <sighs> I respect your goal, but I have to ask you to stay away from me. Erica, what do I see in your eyes? Nerva's up to something in this world. Counter Solari, you... They're the keys that'll help us solve this. The Keeper? Nerva of Purgation? Yes. She made us leap here, not elsewhere. She's blocking teleportation to other worlds. This is the first I've heard about being unable to teleport to other worlds. But that raises more questions than it answers. You're saying that the Keeper is controlling everything? If she has that much power, then why is she allowing us to live? I don't know, but that's Nerva. Purgation's in her name, but she's hardly pure. She plots, she manipulates, and she loves it. That's what she is. That's incomprehensible. It's unbelievable. You should help me, even if it's just information about Counter Solari. He doesn't seem bad. His desire to defeat the Keeper seems real, but still. You're pursuing a Keeper in an attempt to destroy her. In that sense, we have the same goal, even if our methods are different. So it might be possible at times for us to join together the same way we did while facing off against Nexus. But the time for that isn't now. We should each be finding our own ways to fulfill that goal. <laughs> If you're unable to respect my methods, then my blade may find its way to your neck. Even if it's not me? Even if it's Orisa instead? Yes. You can't tell me why you're acting together with Counter Solari. And you can't reveal anything about them or yourself either. You won't help me. You won't join me. And you only act for yourself. Anything that becomes an obstacle gets removed. Even me, and even Arisa. When he puts such a fine point on it, it seems that I'm being incredibly selfish. But still... I suppose that's one way to put it. Alright. Then that's how I'll deal with you. <sighs> There's something you see in Counter Solari. In the rest of this world, I'm just the same. I'll defeat Nerva. I'll see through what she's trying to do, and I'll grind her to dust. Mark my word, I can't back down. That's what you and I share. Prepare yourself! Oh, I've been ready for a long, long time. You... Why are you covering for Counter Solari? Why go that far? Why? You should know that much. And even if we were to tell... You'd never be able to understand! Try me! <sighs> then let me ask something. Why do I have to trust you? Trust everyone else? Our goal might be the same, but our ways of life are different. Our pasts, our futures, everything! Can you imagine the helplessness of those who dirtied their own hands for the crown only to die at the end? And the despair that haunts those that survived? And is able to find hope despite that? And how I felt when that was stolen from me? I see. No, you don't. There's no way that you could understand. My past is with Counter Solari. If nothing else, I can trust them more than I can trust you. So leave. I don't want to see you again. 
Farewell. What good would come from talking? We're from the darkness. How many of us will still be alive when we get the cash in hand? Won't be long till you drop dead. Hey, moron! You better watch yourself talking like that. <laughs> you too, Erica. <sighs> You're still young. Not like us. And that's why... That's why... You still have a future, Erica! Get out now and survive! No matter what we think, and no matter how we live, we'll always be trampled underfoot. It's time to go back. Back to Liad. Would you help us? And I'll give him an answer. I'll show him what path I'm going to take. This is it. I think the password was... Crying devils emerge. The nameless group enters. <sighs> ah, you're the guest. Leod has already moved on to the next hideout. He has? The nameless group enters is for when more than one person's entering. When it's just you, say, the lone man enters. Ah, uh, please excuse my carelessness. It's fine. Would you tell me where he'll be next? And the password as well. Is that way. The password is Devil's Emerge Fallen. That followed by the lone man enters. Thank you, and farewell. One thing. I need to ask you something. What is it? Look after Liot. Me? It's got nothing to do with you, and you probably don't care. But you look a lot alike. You and Liot's daughter, that is. <sighs> she was killed. One of the Blade Rites sent her off into the abyss. They didn't bat an eye when it happened. But you could tell. He'd poured his everything into her. Together they dreamt of sinking the false sun and allowing the true moon to shine. That's why when it came to you, he... Uh... <clears throat> uh, I've gone a bit too far with this. Sorry. I have to go now. Leod's daughter and I? Is that... No, I mean I... But I was treating him, treating Liad, like one of my old comrades. Liad sees his past in me, just like I see mine in his. Just a little further now. Erica! Priestess, or should I say heiress? I have the princess. My purpose now is to save her, and still... Still, I'm being pulled toward Counter Solari. My fate seems to be falling into place all too cleanly. I was a rebel. I was despised and was the beast. I drank mud in the darkness. That was fine, though. I didn't mind. Whether the sun shone, whether we turned our backs to the solar light, the light of the moon was there. Father. I love you, Father. They always look upon us as if we were horrible. It would not be strange if we were to hate everything. But you're not ruled by hatred, Father. You'll not lose to malice. Just as you had in times past, you're bringing the wicked of Isunia to justice. It's because you're like this that the others can continue resisting. Thank you, Father. 
I love you. Why was I unable to speak? Why, even though I only needed to say I loved you? It was because your light shone upon me that I was able to believe in myself. <laughs> even when you're silent, Father, I love you. If I were able to reverse time, I'd cry my eyes out. Talk to my voice when hoarse. Even hold you in my arms. But that's all in the past. <sighs> I've been preparing myself from long ago. That's the only reason I could tell it was her when I saw the mess they'd made. I knew. Yes, I knew. That so long as we lurked in the dark, so long as the sun pursued us, I knew the day had come. That's why I... Thank you. For being born. For fighting at my side. For shining upon me. Thank you. I picked up what had once been my daughter, and I spoke thus. That's how I remembered it. But in truth, I'm not so sure. Did I cry out in pain? Did I shed a single tear? The one thing that may be certain. New glory for the true moon! T'was on that day that I turned from a rebel to a seeker of vengeance. Hurt. She looks like she's worried from the bottom of her heart. She might really, truly have been concerned for me. Yes, now please excuse me. Wait, Erica! Uh, I understand that I cannot be trusted, but will you not allow me to stay with you? I have not been able to provide anyone with answers, but even still, I would like to come together with everyone. No, thank you. Not now. But why? <sighs> you can't tell me why you're acting together with Counter Solari. And you can't reveal anything about them or yourself either. You won't help me. You won't join me. And you only act for yourself. Anything that becomes an obstacle gets removed. Even me. And even Arisa. You're right. Anything I do, I do for myself. There's no need for me to answer. Erica, I... I don't care about what you want or need. Ugh. I have my own path to walk. Why do you think I'd have anything to do with you? Have you forgotten, Priestess? To me, you're no more... You're no more to me than an enemy! How can you show your face before me? Why are you making me remember? Without you, I was about to die of loneliness. It's fine, Erica. Everything's okay. Please return safely. Not even I can stop this! What do I have to do to save the princess? Where can I see her again? And why? Why am I here in this world now? You're the one who summoned Nexus and drove me this far, so answer me! Apologizing. Uh, it's not just the princess. You've stolen something dear.
stolen something dear from everyone. I am a swordsman. Once I fight against someone, I can see into their heart. I know your regrets and your new beliefs. You're standing opposite to me now, attempting to go forward. I understand you, but I don't want to. About me wanting to kill you, let me apologize. I got carried away and now I... I'm wavering about what to do. But meeting someone like you, I... I need to uncover what I have to do. My apologies. Princess has been stopped. Stopped by Nexus. By that thing. I can't defeat it a moment too soon. Uh, why then? Why am I running into the arms of Counter Solari? This impulse. What? Erica? Wait! They're blade rights. And the ones lying dead were counter... What was that? I have a bad feeling about this. I think that over there was... No. Liad! isn't my home. There's a treasure waiting for me back in the world that I come from. A purpose that doesn't have anything to do with the moon or sun. Yes, I am the princess's sword and her shield. So please forgive me, princess! Ah! There's no future for me in Counter Solari. But there is a past. The past that I once turned my back on. Back then, I ran away. I ran from the comrades who raised me, who helped me, who promised me dreams. All because I couldn't handle the danger! Enough of this! Enough! I don't want to run anymore! The past won't change! No matter how much I struggle, the past won't let me go! That's it! I'm going to face it. Face my past. The memories of murder. The soiled hands, the tears shed. The assassin that I've been. Counter Solari and the Blade Rites surely have reasons for being the way they are. But none of that matters. 
You're trying to kill Counter Solari! Kill my past! Fighting is the only way forward! Has it been fate leading me along? Erica, what do I see in your eyes? Nerva's up to something in this world. Counter Solari, you, they're the keys that'll help us solve this. Or was it that Keeper who put all the pieces into place? Either way, there's only one thing to do. We have to stop the Iron Hand of the Order of Blade Rites. I changed when I met you, Princess. There's no doubt about that. But the past won't leave my side. And now to clear a way back to you, time after time. Time after time I've used that bloody art! Those days won't ever leave me. To save Counter Solari and to bring an end to the past I'd once disowned, I accept it all. Princess. I can only hope that you'll see my misdeeds, the sullied path I walk, and... Over there. I have to hurry! Leod! You're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But the others, they're... I know. Liad, I have an answer for you. I'll fight. I want to save Countess Solari. Save my past. Thank you. The battle's going poorly, isn't it? Can we hope for the help of any other guilds? I've given orders to talk to them, but it's no good. Then how shall we change things? We'll claim the Marshal's head and break the Undermarshal's sword with the power of the throat. You're going to use that sword? But they've moved much faster than we planned. We haven't a moment to spare. And what can I do? Save as many of us as you can, and then come to me. Very well then, Liad. Take care of yourself. Don't die. Sure. You either. Erica! There you are! Liad, I have this. Take care of your own business for now. <gasps> Arisa, why are you here? I'm here to stop Counter Solari from hurting anyone else. Me and the people in the Order of Blade Rites are... Is this how it's going to go, Arisa? We might have worked together at one point. I might have been able to call you a partner. If you're going to work with them, though, things won't be the same. Erica, please listen to me! What do you want me to listen to? You're abetting them. That says more than enough. Abetting? But they're good people, so I just wanted to help them. Idiocy! You don't understand a thing, Orisa. No, that's not true. Maisha and Cetus and everyone else in the Order of Blade Rites, they really care about this land. Everyone in the Order of Blade Rites, every last person, they're all good people. Her eyes don't seem to be lying. But Orisa isn't someone who'd lie to begin with. She might be deceived. Or maybe there's some sort of magic controlling her. I'm not sure. But either way... Oh? Why are you with Counter Solari, Erica? They're the scary ones, taking lives and throwing their own lives away! Why are you with people like that, Erica? There wouldn't be any point in explaining to you now. So I'm going to remove you before you become an obstacle. No. No, I don't want to fight with you, Erica! Then stand still. I don't want to get hurt any more than you do. Erica! This will end in an instant! Ha! No! How come? 
I don't have any desire to fight you either. But you've taken this on, and so have I! Ugh! This isn't right! Would you believe me? Even if I were to tell you of all of the misdeeds of the Order of Blade Rites? No! I don't believe you! You have to be confused, Erika! I mean, Maisha and Cetus and everyone else is so nice! That's not a lie! No, it's Counter Solari! They're the ones who do horrible things! They take people's lives, and they attacked us! So, why? Why indeed? I don't believe what you're saying either. When a necessary evil is no longer necessary, then it's simple evil. The sun betrayed the moon, and the moon was dyed in blood. It has been long since anyone without a blade has touched me. You crying? <laughs> then I guess I'll cry for you too. How could I ever believe you? Ah! It was because of you that we were able to defeat Nexus. I'm grateful to you. And I even respect you. If you weren't there, we'd all have wandered aimlessly until we fell dead. That I know in my heart. But even so, no. Precisely for that reason, I have to stop you here. You'd be heartbroken if you knew it all. So now... Get ready! The past cannot be wiped away, and the present is made of crossing paths. Though their flesh may be near, their hearts are distant. The sun and moon never align, but simply vie for the same throne. Fate is like the water that flows. Human wills are like tree leaves at the mercy of the wind, fluttering between hope and despair. A power beyond human understanding casts fate into disarray, and accursed fortunes manifest. Thus came the time of war. Blood and flame, smoke and rubble, life upon life. What do the guided ones see beyond a heartless war? <laughs> 